The lens of the eye is mainly composed of water and proteins. As we age, these proteins may begin to clump together and cloud the lens. This clouding is called a cataract. Cataract surgery is the removal of the affected lens from the eye and the insertion of an artificial lens. Before your surgery, you will be given eye drops to dilate your pupil, and the area around your eye will be washed and cleansed. In many cases, you will have a local anesthetic injected around or behind your eye. You may also be offered a sedative to help you relax. Most cataract surgeries last less than one hour. The most common method used for removing cataracts is phacoemulsification. In this procedure, the surgeon looks through an operating microscope and makes three small incisions, less than one inch long, in or near the cornea. An opening is made through the capsule of the lens, and an ultrasound probe is used to break the cloudy lens into tiny fragments. These fragments are vacuumed out through the incisions. Then, an artificial intraocular lens is inserted. Intraocular lenses, made of plastic, silicone, or acrylic compounds, have no moving parts and last for the remainder of a person's life. Because the incisions are so small, stitches are generally not necessary. Vision often improves notably immediately after surgery. Another method for removing cataracts is called the extracapsular technique. In this procedure, the incision made near the cornea is large enough to remove the cataract in one piece. Again, an artificial lens is inserted to replace the natural lens. Recovery from this type of cataract surgery is usually slower. Because the incision is larger, this procedure does require stitches However, the stitches rarely need to be removed. After the operation, a patch will usually be placed over your eye, and you will be observed for a short time to be sure there are no problems, such as bleeding. Cataract surgery is performed on an outpatient basis, and most patients go home the same day. Since exposure to bright light may initially be uncomfortable, you should not plan on driving immediately following the procedure. You will need to make arrangements beforehand for someone to take you home.